course, a major concern right now are the icy conditions across central Virginia. Our Brendan King is in Storm Rider 6 to tell us how VDOT is responding to this storm. Uh, Brendan, what's the latest? Absolutely, Rob. Good morning. And right now we are continuing to monitor the road conditions in our area. We just got off Interstate 95 south of Richmond, now on the Chippenham Parkway in North Chesterfield. I got a couple of comments on my Facebook page asking about how the road conditions are here. So check out camera two on the Storm Rider. I'm now seeing ice and slush collecting on the sides of the road. That is not good news. Most drivers are traveling cautiously like photojournalist Sedan. Sanon Davis here behind the wheel this morning. But there are some people who have sped right past the Storm Rider, driving way too fast for conditions. The roads are slick, the roads are dangerous, and that is evident by the numerous cars we've seen all morning crashed into the ditches. The trees are even starting to slump over under the heavy weight of the ice. We spoke to Kyle Gibson, a spokesman with VDOT. He says his crew started working as early as 10 o'clock last night to pre-treat those interstate roads in north and western parts of the district and major primary roads in western Hanover and Goochland County. Listen to what he had to say. After the storm starts, crews enter 24-hour operations. That means that they're going to work in 12-hour shifts around the clock until the roads are passable and trees are out of the road. And I want to echo the experts. There is no safe way to drive on icy roads. Please be careful out there if you are out and about and give DOT crews extra room on the roads. And I, and I continue to show you camera three on Storm Rider and uh, briefly just show you this is not a technical glitch. That is an ice covered camera here. So certainly uh, be safe in a, if you're out and about here this morning, Rob.